हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ सतीश थलंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वॉचन इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलाप इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिगार्डिंग द मेजरमेंट ऑफ वर्कबिलिटी विद द फ्लो टेबल टेस्ट एज वी नो देयर आर वेरियस टेस्ट टू कैरी आउट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ वर्कबिलिटी आउट ऑफ दैट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फ्लो टेबल टेस्ट फॉर द फ्रेश कॉन्क्रीट द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव सी बिफोर performing the test we should know what is the intention of the or you can say the objective and also what will be the outcome now the end of the session the students will be able to carry out the test relevant to the measurement of workability of fresh concrete as per the indian standard code along with that he is going to study or you can say you can he is going to understand and take the necessary decisions on the factor which are affecting on the workability of concrete while performing the flow table test or you can say with the help of the flow table test now flow table test and its steps to perform the test here the flow table test this is a method of testing or you can say test specific the procedure for using of the flow table to determine the fluidity of the concrete here there is a criteria that the nominal size of the aggregate should not exceed the 38 mm before commencing the test the table top and the inside of the mold is to be wetted and it should be cleaned the mold is to be filled or you can say it should be positioned at the center of the table and it should be filled with the concrete in two layers here the concrete as it is filled into two layers each layer is compacted by the 25 blows or you can say strokes at the end after filling the second layer also and after tamping or you can say up by after the stroke the excess concrete should be removed which is at the top of the mold as well as the concrete which is felt on the table here after cleaning the mold should be lifted vertically upward as we lift suddenly we should on the button or is i can say by motor or by the manually we should start rising and dropping the table here the rising and the dropping is for the height that is 12.5 mm and its number is in 15 times in the 15 seconds here the diameter of spread concrete is measured with the average of six symmetrical distributed measurements readings to the nearest to fifth or you can say nearest to 5 mm now the calculations to be carried for the flow table test is the flow of the concrete is the percentage increase in the diameter of the spread concrete over the base diameter of the mold concrete here the base of the mold is 25 this is a slide which is showing the flow table test as we see here in the first picture Yeah, the flow table test is with the height and it is a motorized, which is so which is work on the electricity current. And in the second, it is a another type of flow table test, which is manually operated. In the first also there is a manually operation, but as due to the advance. or to minimize the error the motorized type of tables are been manufactured here the diameter of the table is somewhat 76 cm and in the second it is 700 mm or you can say 770 cm here the molds are there in which the concrete are filled in two layers 
now we will see how the steps are carried see in the first picture the concrete is filled in two layers and the leveling is done at the top side so that the excess concrete should be removed in the second picture the mold is lifted upward vertically upward in third picture it is totally completely it is lifted upward after lifting in the fourth picture we observe that it is spreaded after having the rise and drop of the plate or you can say the base plate here it's rise and drop after rising and drop for the 15 times in 15 seconds we observe in the fourth picture the concrete is spreaded whose diameter is greater than the base diameter of that mold here the base diameter of the mold is 25 this is a formula for determining the percentage flow of the concrete it is equal to diameter of flow minus 25 divided by 25 multiplied by 100 here the diameter of flow in centimeter is nothing else as we have seen we have to take the six symmetrical distributions measurements of the diameters of the spreaded concrete and after measuring its average will define the diameter of the flow in the present formula and it is minus 25 because the diameter of the base or you can say the mold base is having the 25 centimeter and below that we see what are the consistency for the following percentage of flow for 0 to 20 it is dry for 20 to 60 it is stiff from 60 to 100 it is plastic from 100 to 120 it is wet and from 120 to 150 it is sloppy this consistency are the guidelines for the you can say to test the workability how good the workability or you can say the concrete is having the workability or it is the concrete have achieved the workability this slide is uh, presenting the mcq or you can say some questions regarding the today's session just go through it read it hope so you have selected the answer which i have been shown by the arrow in the first question we what is the question it is a diameter of, what is the diameter of the table of the flow table apparatus it is 760 mm as i have already told it is 76 76 mm and 76 centimeter in second question what is the height of rise and the drop of the table in dash time in dash durations as we have seen in the steps while performing steps to carry out the flow table test in that we are mentioning it is having 25 mm 15 time in 15 second hope so this is answer from your side these are some of the references for the following or today's session.